What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Code Norman. I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to be making a 3D subway station in Godot. So make sure you all like and subscribe. I want to hit 500 subscribers on this channel, so your subscription is much appreciated. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I already had my train tracks laid out that I made in Blender. And I stretched them out all the way across the map. Now for the scene, I was going to go with a darker, shadier look since we're underground. It's a subway, you know, that kind of thing. So the first thing I did was establish a platform that all the people would stand on. Not that there was going to be any people in the scene, but like, you know, like in real life, they have like that platform and stuff. To do this, I got a CSG box and renamed it to platform. Now when I did this first off, I used a mesh instance platform instead. But then I decided to use a CSG box since there was more flexibility and things that could be done with that. Then I put some pillars on top of the platform that would be between that and the ceiling. Pillar size might have been a little bit inconsistent, but it worked. So I placed about two of them. Next, I started working on the ceiling, and this was going to be pretty easy. All I had to do was place a CSG box on top of the pillars. And of course, scale it to fit my whole scene. Then I started working on the world environment. I already stated how I wanted the world environment to look. Now I found as I was going on that this was mostly determined by the fog. The volumetric fog really did it for me in this scene and it really accomplished what I had wanted. I messed with mostly the density and the detail spread and this got me what I wanted. Then I got the tile texture that I would load onto the platform. I need to start working on everything at like one time instead of like chopping it up and separating it throughout the video. Then I got a CSG box and expanded it and placed it behind my platform. This would serve as a back wall. Yeah, uh, my footage kind of got corrupted, so like the stuff where I was placing the train and like, you know, putting a lot of the textures and stuff on the ground is kind of, uh, you know, not here. But it probably wasn't going to make the final cut anyway, because this video is already really long. As you can see, I have my pillars and I have the lighting and the train and everything is really done. I'm not going to stick around too long since a lot of it is, you know, pretty visual and you can see it for yourself. Now time to close out this video. Make sure you all like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. I know back to school got all your acting difference, but that's all for today. Bye now.